you've while you're doing superintendent and it's not like you just are bored like you have so much time on your hands you're like very, no. very busy person <laughs> and you know I actually as i'm talking to you about this one of the things i saw yesterday is like you're busy everyone's busy yeah and, but it's like if you say you can't exercise because you're busy put it in your schedule and it will change it will change you like it will it will change you like you would like it's an yeah. appointment you make with yourself so yeah. i want what like tell me you 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 take like you really focus on your own well-being and mm -hmm. i think it actually a lot of people i think it's like a self selfless act it might be a selfish act that leads to selflessness or it could be a selfless act but i don't think it's a totally selfish why has that been no. so important to you to focus on that and it's funny you ask that because um, I was talking to some of my um, accountability partners and the question was, do you work out for you or do you work out for others? Right. And so I think it's a yes. And, yeah. and so for me, um, and I'll kind of go backwards throughout my educational career. And I, if you take the time <laughs> to look through my Twitter feed, mm. um, cause I've had it forever. You can see how I have evolved. So mm. I was a very full figured woman, very like the face fat, everything. Right. And over the years, especially when I was working on my doctorate. So that was like in 20, uh, 14, 15, 16, around that area that I had gained the most weight in my life. So remember I had already had two kids. Uh, and I still hadn't weighed that much. Right. Yeah. And so I was not taking care of myself. Um, but I was like, well, I got to work. I got to get this dissertation done. I got to be at the game Friday night. I got to be at the thing Tuesday yeah. night. I got to be this require, you know, so everywhere. Right. And my daughters were playing um, club volleyball, which means you're traveling across the country um, because they want to play, you know, volleyball, select volleyball, and they were going to play in college and you're trying to get them off the ground. And so kind of going through my whole career, it, I kind of hit like, a, I don't want to say hit a wall, but mm -hmm. I'll say reality check. Um, and my dad, my dad had, um, they had just moved to San Antonio, I never forget this. And they were here maybe a year. I'm still in Round Rock at the time. Well, he has a heart attack and a stroke in the same year. Oh, now wow. he's not a overweight, unhealthy yeah. person. But life happens. We have heart issues in our family, my dad's side. We do. Um, and nobody knows, but now the world knows. So there you go. Um, but that happened to dad. And dad told me, I never forget. He got better. We're at a reunion. We're in Dallas. And he says, Tiffany, you better take care of yourselves because you got to take care of those girls. Yep. And that stuck with me. Now, did I get out the next day and start running? Nope. But did it resonate? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so as I kind of went through life and my career, um, the, one of the kids had went to college. I think I had one more left. Um, and I was like, okay, I'm going to start going to the gym. And I just started little baby steps, just going to the gym every morning. And I was like, oh my gosh, I hate this. Oh my gosh. You know, but it was the YMCA. I never forget it, but I found my little tribe. Right. And so they're working out and they're like, we didn't see you in spin class. I'm like shoots, you know, so I go back to spin class or I go back to strength class and I started. So then I ended up moving. I got that job in Beeville and I was like, I got to keep going. And so it's just like a mental, like want to. And so I started working out, started working out, started working out. And then I was also not eating well. So I was working out so I could eat whatever I wanted to. Right. right? So not the right no, thing to do. <laughs> like not, eating, not yeah. the right thing to do. Yeah. But then I was like, okay, I got to do something different. And so working out, working out, working out. Then I go and I get this job here in Buna. And um, I was like, okay, you got to get your life together because this is going to be hard. You know uh -huh. what I mean? You know, you're going to be just going nonstop. So I really came and um, I even told the board, I was like, I have priorities and these are them. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, first is my faith, my family, my health and my career. And it's in that order and not to be disrespectful, but that was my priorities. And I shared that with my staff. Every time I went and met with them, I said, these are my priorities. And what that means is if my family calls and says, Hey, somebody sick, died, whatever, I'm out. I got to mm -hmm. go check on my family. I'll be back. But my family's first, um, you know, my faith, you know, and it's my personal faith, whatever you believe, that's fine. But I have my faith and that's my values and that's my cornerstone. Right. Um, and then my health. And so I work out every morning. And so I told the board, I told my staff, I told my team, you can call me from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. That's my window. 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And Good. so when I get up in the morning, 4.45, 5 o'clock, I'm working out. Nobody calls. Now, we had a bus accident that happened one time. It right. was 6.30 
And one of my guys said, I know we said not to call, but this is important. I said, this is one of the calls that you do make before seven, you know? Yeah. And so of course we took care of it, but I had just come to the realization that I got to take care of myself mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. And so I work out every morning. I make sure I eat my clean meals. It's a running joke when we order food in the office. They're like, don't worry. We know Spicer wants a salad. Get her salad. You know? right. and so it's not like I, I wanted to go this direction, but it just it just happened. And I know I needed to. And so the weight started coming off. I started feeling mm -hmm. more secure and, and better about myself, more energy. And I also learned that I needed to tell my team, my leaders, my teachers, hey, you need to take care of yourself too and give that same permission that I gave to myself. Mm -hmm. When it's four o'clock and you've got your stuff done, go, go home. And so I have right. some people like, yeah, I went for a walk with my family. I started back running. I started back eating well. I'm not doing the best, but I started back. That's what I want. I'm like, because it's not about me. Yeah, it is about me, but it's not right. about me because people watch you, um, whether you know it or not. And there's people that watch me that I really probably don't even know that watch me or follow me. But I have to do this for me, but I'm also doing this for my girls. Right. But I'm also doing this for the people that I serve in my district and for other leaders who follow me that I know who have seen me at my worst or my heaviest, yeah. who have seen the journey of where I've come yeah. from. And so it's not about me. Um, it's about how can we have that collective because I don't want to die on the job. That's a that's a that's a concern. Yeah. There have been super and in you Texas don't want to retire and die five years after either too because that right. happens a lot of time. And it happens yeah. right. And so I don't want that to be me. I really want to live a full life and I want to enjoy it and I want to be able to. I ran with my cross country kids. Oh my god! Never that's in my awesome. life did I think I'd do that. Right now, was I first? Nope. But did I finish? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, that's so that's, that's the why, you know? you know? So like when I come out there, I promise you this, but when I come out there, I will work out before I see you. Cause if I do not work out before I see you, I, right. it's like, I, that's my coffee. Do you know what I mean? You know, yeah. like, don't talk to me till I have my coffee. I'm like, don't talk to me until yeah. I have worked out. Right. Like it's absolutely it totally changes my vibe. Now Everything. You, said, you said this, people are watching you. So I'm going to tell you, I was watching you. And I'm going to tell you something too. And it's actually like such an amazing, I don't even know if you know this, mm -hmm. but it was Saturday. So I was speaking Saturday and Sunday in mm -hmm. Austin. And I saw you on Saturday. I, I, we didn't know each other, but then I think I said, I, I saw you running this morning. I saw, then that's how we connected the first day. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday night, I saw you with your daughter and it was her birthday and you were heading mm -hmm. out. I'm like, she's not coming mm -hmm. tomorrow. Sunday morning and not only were you there your I think your daughter came with you too yeah they're and, working and out. I was like oh like they went out and still good for you like I was like impressed because a lot of people say nah like you know because that's where you get in trouble is when you're like right. well this special thing or this thing this thing and that's when you you like no listen I can do some of these things but I gotta I gotta keep with the habit. You don't take the break no. yeah yeah it's so like pattern. It was, yeah. So I, I don't know if you knew that. I was, and I was like, I did not. No. I was like, really? Showing up after the birthday party. 